I made this rug hooking frame almost a year ago now, and it's holding up extremely well. So well, in fact, that I decided to start selling these, and I've recently been commissioned to make one. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to make one, but this time I'll be showing you guys how to make it using the plans which are for sale on my eBay store. There will be a link in the description. And if anybody's curious to see how I made this frame, you can view it right here. But for right now, let's get started. I have this piece of four quarter ash and I'm gonna run it through my thickness planer because it's rough sawn and I need to level everything out. After that, I'm gonna resaw it to just a little over three quarter inch and then I'm gonna run it through my thickness planer to get it exactly three quarter inch and also smooth everything out. using the measurements provided in my plans. And I'm gonna do this all with my cross cut slide and my rip fence on the table saw. My thought you were ready to give up. Now that board was a little bit long and it was slightly awkward to cut down long pieces of wood on my table saw with just one guy. So what I decided to do is make all those previous cuts a little oversized and now I'm going to sneak up on the final length so I can be as precise as possible. So now I'm going to make the final cuts. Brock. Okay, I have all of my pieces cut and now I'm gonna work on the joinery for the frame. Now I need to join together each of these corners and to do that I'm gonna be using half lap joints. Here's a picture from my plans and basically a half lap joint is where you remove half of the thickness of each piece of stock just as wide as the piece of stock and you fit them over each other. So I'm gonna zero in my cross cut slide with a stop block and set the depth of cut for my blade and I'll come back to you when all that's done. Now that I have all the joinery cut, it's time to assemble the frame. I'm going to be using wood glue, some of these smaller bar clamps, as well as a band clamp. and to fix them together, I'm just gonna run a bead of glue on either end, clamp it, let it dry for a few hours. And if you're wondering why I look like I just came out of a swimming pool, it's because I was mowing my lawn and it started raining. There you go. You can see here how the post connects to the frame is by these two pieces here. 
which is kind of like a little half circle with a hole in it. So a hole will be drilled through the half circle as well as through the top of each post and a knob will go through each side. The problem that you will most likely run into on building these frames that I have just run into myself is that if you remove too much material or make cuts wrong, you will end up having to hand measure the thickness of each of those half circle pieces so that it's a nice perfect fit between the two posts. Now, these measurements might not be exactly correct, it depends on what your frame build is at, but what I'm going to do is measure the gap from the inside so it's even on both sides. In my case, the measurement between this post and the inside of the frame is just under 3 eighths of an inch. Then I'm going to measure the outside, which looks like 5 eighths. So the final thickness of those half circle pieces will be 5 eighths inch. However, I'm going to plane the pieces just a hair under that so that I can use a washer for a smoother fit. This right here is the base of the frame and I've installed a quarter inch round over bit in my router table and I'm going to go ahead and smooth over all of the edges. Okay, I've just switched out that quarter inch bit on my router to a half inch round over bit and now I'm going to round over only one set of edges around the frame. I'm only going to do it on the top side. I'm actually going to shoot a couple of very small brand nails straight through the top of the frame and into these little pieces here to give it just a little more strength because I question the strength of this joint as is. These nails are so small they'll never really be seen, but they will add a lot to this joint. I'm going to drill a 3 8 inch hole because that is the outer diameter of the T-nut. The T-nut will be pressed into the inside face of the post. Okay, so the rug hooking frame is pretty much done. I've got everything sanded up to 320 grit. It's nice and smooth. I've worked out all the imperfections in the wood, and I have all three of my pieces sanded and ready to be finished. Now, I previously finished my last rug hooking frame with Danish oil, and I'm very happy with this finish. It was very easy to apply, and it's holding up extremely, extremely well. I couldn't be happier with it. The only problem is that my Danish oil is a dark walnut stain, and I really don't want to stain this wood because I think it's very pretty. It's light in color, and I really like that. So instead of what I've done is I've purchased teak oil, which is uh, seems to be very similar to Danish oil. It hardens in the wood, not on the wood. It's not a film, it's an oil. And applying it is almost exactly the same as applying Danish oil. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, a few things, you do attach the gripper strips to the top of the frame. I'm not going to show how I do that. Uh, I don't think my methods are necessarily correct. These strips are on there and they do get attached very well, but I am by no means an expert and I'm sure there's a better video on the subject. I would really appreciate it if you gave this video a big thumbs up and uh, pile over the comments with your feedback. Um, I spent a very long time editing this video and I have a lot more videos like this one coming up pretty soon. So I appreciate all your support and feedback. Please subscribe to this channel. And also, if you don't know about my second channel, it is a follow-up and vlog type channel where I post sort of uh, follow-up videos to my main projects. It's where we go through stuff, open sticker mail, that type of stuff. 
If you like all that stuff, all you have to do to get there is click this box right here. This box will take you to my most recent follow-up video, and you can subscribe to that channel from there. Check back in next Friday for a brand new video, and I'll see you all then. Take it easy.